Early this year, NIMET listed some states that should prepare for heavy flooding, where Imo State was also listed, even though it took a while in Imo State after Lagos, Benue, Rivers and some parts of Anambra State have had their own fair share of torrential rainfall. This is the outcome of the heavy downpour that lasted for over 12 hours. Federal housing estate Egbu by Chukumawaga Junction is the worst hit. Several houses have been submerged and people displaced. Victims are already counting their losses. This rain just started. We thought say it go just rain small and, and, and stop. The thing no fit stop. The around I think three o'clock or two before then, all the fence, neighborhood fence, all of them done fall down. And all our neighbors, they cry, water, 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 water. Nobody fit to help each other. And they carry my load. All my, even my children, I don't forget them away. My son, I don't come carry them because of water. All my TV, my chairs, everything in my house, yeah, spoil it, spoil. I can't enter my house. I cannot enter my house, I'm telling you now. They have, the, the water have consumed all my foam. Right now, my, I'm an internet displaced person. The state's emergency management agency says it's aware of the situation and will begin an assessment of the affected areas. The coordinator maintains that even though they've commenced awareness campaigns following NAMIT's warning, some landlords and builders disregard the warning and they continue to build on waterways which compel the state government to embark on its urban renewal program in the state. Our problem is our um, environmental practices are very poor. I must have to confess. And we always wait for government to do everything for us. But there are things we should do ourselves. Keeping our environments clean is not the work of the government. It is our work. If your environment is clean and your gutter is cleaned up, you won't have flood in your area. Residents of the affected areas and victims who've been displaced from their homes are appealing to the federal and state authorities for urgent intervention.